evening people. Hello. Almost time. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Teacher, una consulta. Hola. ¿Verdad que todavía falta para terminar el módulo? ¿Sí? Es que a mí me están cayendo bastantes mensajes. ¿Qué? Al correo y así al WhatsApp de, de Insapol, diciéndome de que, que, mande, que mande otra vez. 
todo. Es que, que los documentos para el módulo siguiente ya los tienen que empezar a mandar. Ah, ya los tenemos que empezar. Hay que saber a mi inquietud. Okay. Que Ajá, okay. Está bien, gracias. Okay, people, it's time. Wait it already. Let's start with the first attendance of the evening. So please respond. Turn on your camera. Alison Andrea Serrano. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. Carla Jasmine Rivera. Um, here, yes. Carlos Jonathan Garcia. Oh. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present. Okay. Eric Mauricio Cruz. Present teacher. Humberto Benito Santa María. Present teacher. Jennifer Guadalupe Elías. José Andrés Martínez. Present teacher. Present. Julio César Fabián. Present teacher. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Ok. <clears throat> Noé, the 10 minutes at the end of the class are for you today, ok? Ok, teacher. Omar Alexander Chávez. Present teacher. Raúl Edgardo Tarceño. Rosalina Esmeralda Sánchez. Present teacher. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez. Present teacher. Vladimir Alejandro García. Present. William Boris Roque. William Rodrigo Ángel. Okay, a ver quiénes entraron tarde. Uno. Además, yo, teacher, Carla. Okay. Carla, Yasmin. Yo Rivera. también, teacher. Ok, Carla, hey. Yasmin. Pres. ¿Quién dijo yo también? Pres. Jennifer. Ok, Jennifer Guadalupe Díaz. Jennifer Guadalupe Díaz. Present teacher. ¿Y los demás? Carlos Jonathan. No, Daniel Ernesto. No. Salvador Alberto. William Boris. Julián Rodrigo. Ajá, Daniel Ernesto. Okay, people, let's get started tonight. 
Um, ya todos. Ahí hay un par por ahí. Eh, hay algunos que el examen, el examen eh, lo han dejado con 75. Pronto así se los he puesto, ¿no? Esa no te va Y otro que lo tienen 25. Ah, no. Que ahí. Crea si sí, está. Ahí está. Ya. ya sí. eh, ya vamos en unidad 3. Ya le venimos haciendo las tareas de la unidad 3. Gracias. Ok. Bien. Unit 3, lesson 2. Tonight. Share the screen. Okay, yesterday we studied the present continuous for future event. Okay. Present continuous is used for activities taking place in the moment. So we use present continuous to talk about the activities that I'm doing right now. But also uh, is used to talk about future activity, schedule activity, okay? Uh, it's okay if I say I'm teaching English tonight, right now, this moment. I am working. Okay? But it's also correct if I say I am teaching English tomorrow. I am working tomorrow. I am teaching English on Saturday. I am working on Saturday future, present continuous, but for future. Usually, we use time expression to specify that we are talking about future. Time expressions like tomorrow, or this afternoon, this weekend, next week, next month. So, Time expressions for future. But today we are going to, to work a little bit more on that. Um, tonight's objective is this. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Tonight's object, objective is this. At the end of the class, I will be able to describe ongoing activities. Ongoing activities are activities in the moment, activities right now or activities in, uh, in um, continuous present. And regular activities. Regular activities are activities I do regularly, like a routine, every day, constantly. So those are regular activities. Activities that I repeat, I repeat, I repeat, I do regular. So we are going to talk about ongoing activities, activities in the moment, and regular activities. Okay. Um, 
at the workplace. So activities you do at work. That is a nice subject. Describe when activities accurately and regular activities at the work. There are two questions here to consider before we continue. Number one, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? And two, what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Okay, think about that for a moment. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Okay, give me your answers in the chat, please. Who is the first person to arrive at your work? Let me write it here. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Respond that question in the chat, please. I want to see your answers. You understand the question? Oh. Okay, let's see, Edwin. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, Vladimir. Okay. Hey, Salvador. Man, people, give me your answer. Respond the question. Who is the first person to arrive to get to your work? Two, the manager is the secretary, is the receptionist, is the janitor. Okay, Omar, I see your answer. Jennifer, okay. Raul. Okay. Andre. Oh. Berto. Who's that? Maker. Really? Is there a winemaker? El bodeguero me sale. <laughs> oh. Ready?
Wine maker is the person that makes wine. Ah, well, you know what the first person, okay. Okay, what I wanted to show you here, Berto, I don't start it. Okay, do you see Gilberto? Berto, the winemaker. Berto, are you there? Está Gilberto, where? Escucha, Gilberto. Yes, yes, lo escucho, teacher. Ah, okay. So, use the dictionary. When you look for, cuando busquen palabras, usen el diccionario que ha dado. Vaya, bodeguero. Sí, aquí aparece winemaker, bodeguero. Pero mire, es dueño de bodega de vino. Oh. ¿Verdad? Yeah, yeah. Más abajo aparece el certificado. Bodeguero, trabajador de propósito. Warehouse keeper. Warehouse keeper. Y usa el traductor de Google, solo le tira una definición. No sé si ahí lo buscó. Sí, ahí lo busqué. ¿Eh? A ver, la palabra puede tener diferentes. Ahora usar el diccionario porque aquí nos aparecen los diferentes significados y uno escoge el apropiado. Porque sí. winemaker tiene que ver con vino. Sí. Ok. Eso lo quería mostrar. Ok. So, let's see. Let's go back here. Para que ya escribieron, let me ask you the question directly. Uh -huh. So, um, the question is, who is the first person to arrive at your work? Okay. Omar, who is the first person to arrive at your work? Usually, I am the first person. Ah, okay. Good. Uh, Omar, ask Edwin, please. Who is the first person to arrive at your work? Edwin, who is the first person to arrive at uh, your workplace? The first person to arrive at my workplace is the general manager. Ah, okay. Good. Uh, the question is in the chat, people. Good. So you can read the question from the chat. If you don't remember, okay? Okay, Edwin, ask Vladimir. Vladimir, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Okay, and uh, in my case, I am the first the person to arrive at the workplace. Okay, good. Continue, Vladimir, with Julio. Um, Ver, Salvador. Julio, eh, ask Julio. Ah, ok, perdón. Eh, uh, Julio, who is the person eh, that arrived at your work, your workplace? The first person to arrive is manager. Manager. Okay. Continue, Julio, with eh, Noé. Noé. Uh, who is the first person to come to your work? 
My boss is the first to create a, a workplace. Okay, Noé, continue with Rosalina. Eh, perdón, ¿con quién me dejo? ¿A quién le pregunto? Rosalina. Rosalina, who is the first person to, to read at your workplace? Okay. Um, the first person in my work is the general manager. Okay. Continue, please, with Gilberto. Gilberto, who is the first person to arrive, arrive at your workplace? The person record Bill Berry. Who? The first person uh, Walker uh, Walk, Werberker House. The warehouse keeper. No sé si lo logró copiar. Si lo pongo. The warehouse keeper. Warehouse keeper. Warehouse keeper. Okay. Or warehouse. Warehouse keeper. Yes. Okay, Gilberto, continue with Salvador. Salvador. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? For Salvador. Microphone, Salvador. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I, I am the first person to arrive the, at the workplace. Okay. Can you please? Who? Uh, with Daniel. Daniel, who is the first person to arrive at workplace? Uh, in my case, the first person to arrive at my workplace is the security. Okay. Daniel, uh, Andre. Who is, the, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, in, in my case, I think there is difference because my company is open 24 hours, the 24 hours. But I think that the first person to arrive uh, to my workplace in the morning is my boss. Ah, okay. Continue, Andres, with Virginia. Okay. Virginia, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Not there. Okay, continue with Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? I am the first to arrive at my home. Okay, Jennifer, as uh, Carla. Carla, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? I am the first person I live at work, workplace. Okay, Carla, ask Eric. Eric, are you there? Eric. Eric. Who Eric. is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Anastasia. Raul, are you there? Se lo repito, Raul. Always, okay. always the first person to arrive on my workplace is the security. Okay. Okay, very good. Now, the second question 
is? What, what is the second question? What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? What is the first thing you do when you get to your work? Think about that and write the answer, please. What is the first thing you do when you get to your work? <clears throat> Write your answer. The first thing you do. Okay, Vladimir. Okay, Edwin. Some people write. Okay, Andres. Ah, I'm waiting. Julio Cesar, okay. R. Okay, Alberto. Okay, Carlos. Um, I know. Okay, very good. 
I saw your answers. Now, let's continue. We have this conversation between Ryan and Raul. We're going to read that conversation. Okay. Let me record the conversation. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, Maybe one more time. Listen to the pronunciation and the intonation. Good afternoon, Ro. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? The first thing you do. I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter. Okay, now let's practice. Repeat, please. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Raul. Good afternoon, You're doing right now. Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. I am planning a video conference. I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Oh, oh the conference the with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? What is our team doing right now? Yeah, they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. Yes, yes, it is. is. They are yes, ready, ready, ready for the conference, the conference in the middle room. In the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I see. I see. What time, I see. Do, you what time, time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? You do your workplace. What you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? I usually arrive, I usually at, arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter. 
Well, well, I arrived at 7.30. Right at 7.30. Right at 7.30. Seven thirty. Seven seven thirty. Seven and it's on the first activity is to pick up the letters. Is to pick up the letters. Pick up the letters. Okay. Now let's practice. I am Ryan and you are Raul, okay? Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video well, conference. Planning... Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. Yes, yes it is. They are it getting is. ready they are our ready ready for the conference, conference in the morning in the meeting room. room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? The first thing you do. I usually I arrive usually at, usually at, at, at 6.30 yes. a.m. The first thing, the first thing I do is to check my email. Six six three three to check my email. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I do is to check email. Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. Seven it depends on traffic. Cool. My first activity is to pick up the letter. Okay. Now let's switch. You are Ryan. I am Raul. In one, two, three. Good afternoon, Good afternoon Raul. Raul. What are you doing right now? What are you doing now? What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team uh, in The conference Salvador? with the new team in What is your team doing what right now? What is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What, I see. what, what time do you usually get, get to your work? What is the first thing, what is the first thing, thing you do? do, you do? Mm -hmm. I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, well, well I arrive well, at 7.30. Seven seven right. seven 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 Independent of traffic. Independent of traffic. to pick up the letter. Oh, in oh. question with the conversation. No teacher. All right. Oh. So you're going to practice the conversation and then you're going to respond this question. Okay, who gets earlier at the workplace? Raul or Ryan? What is the topic Raul and his team are discussing in the conference? Okay, so let's form the group. I'm saying. Ok, nadie me ha dicho que está de oyente hoy. Oh, espero que todos ingresen a trabajar. Go to your group, please. A mí no me aparece teacher. Ahora.
par là. No me ingresa al grupo, teacher. Ah, es problema de aquí. Intentando, porque así es una vez.
Okay, welcome back. Okay, let's see, I like to hear. Okay, please, Daniel and Eric, read the conversation, please. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Okay, Daniel and Noé. Eric is not. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Oh, Noé. Ahorita, teacher. Tenía problema. Ahorita, sí. Good afternoon, right. Ryan, where, where I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with a new team in San Salvador. What is, what is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting re ready for the conference in the mirroring room. I see. What time do you usually get, get to your workplace? What is the first thing you do? I usually uh, arrive at 6 and 30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check email, my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.13. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Mm -hmm. Now, Carlos and Salvador. Okay. okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am plan I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. Uh, they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually? get to your workplace. What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, thank you. Now, Jennifer and Raul. Good afternoon, Raul. Where are you doing it from now? Well, good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the now team in San Salvador. What is our team doing for now? Yes, it is. They are getting, getting ready for the conference in their meeting room. I see. One time do you usually get up your workplace? What the first thing you do? 
I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30 in depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, thank you. Now, Edwin and Julio. Edwin, comience, por favor. Hello? Okay, okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ray. Well, I am planning a um, video conference. Oh, the conference with a new team in San Salvador? What is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. We are getting a really important conference in the mending room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I don't is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. OK, thank you. Now, Gilberto and Andre. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is what your thing you doing right now? Yes, is they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you? Well, array at 7 or 7.30 in the pen of traffic. My feed activity is to pick up the letter. Okay. Now, Rosalina and Virginia. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ray. And we are in platinum at video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is your team doing right now? Yes, it's team. They are hurting, ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I is on a ride. It six. Um, the first thing I do is check in my Andrew. Well, I arrive at seven or seven thirty. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Good. You. Now, uh, Allison and Carla. Okay. Um, good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference? with the new team in San Salvador. What is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the mirror room. I see what time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 
6.30 a.m. And the first thing is, I do is to check my email and you. Uh, where I arrive at 7 or 7.30, it depends on the traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay. And finally, Omar and Vladimir. Okay, I begin. Okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in Mirror Room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6 30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive at 7 or 7 30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now let me give you some back on words. Someone problem is word. Arrive. Occasion is arrive. I usually arrive. Okay. Uh, oh, you have difficulty with this number. 30. 30. Big 30. 7. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30, okay, Big 30, 7, 30. This word, now, mm, letter, letter, letters, letters, sounds like an R, no, this, Double P sounds like R. It's like you say letter. That is the pronunciation. Okay. Letters. 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 Yeah. Be careful with that because a muchos se les oye leather. Leather. Y leather es cuero. Otra cosa. Leather. Okay. It's this letter. Like R. T, double T sounds like R. Letter. Letter. Okay. Well. Any question with the conversation? No, teacher. So, who gets earlier at the workplace? Raul or Ryan? Ryan. Raul. Raul. Yeah, Raul it's usually Raul. arrives at 6 30. Oh, Raul gets earlier. And what is the topic Raul and his team are discussing in the conference? What is the topic? Planning a video conference. I am planning a video conference. 
the conference with the new team in San Salvador. Yeah. The conference with the new team. Aunque topic no se lo menciona. Realmente. Topic is the tema. What is the topic of the conference? See. Sí. They don't mention it. Okay. Very good. Now, let's see. How to use the simple present versus the present continuous? Let me show you. Understand. What are you doing right now? Is this simple present or present continue? Present continue. Yes, present continue. Now, well, I am planning a video conference. Is that simple present or present continue? Present continue. Present continue. Present continue. Present continue. Okay. This, question, this question, what is our team doing right now? Simple present or present continue? Present they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. Huh? Present continue. Present continue. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? Present or present continue? Simple present. Simple present. I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. The first thing I do is to check my email. Present or present continue? Hello. Input present. Input present. Oh, pause. I arrive at 7 or 7.30. First activity is to pick up the letters. The present or present continue? Press. Okay. So. Here, we are talking about actions in the moment. Actions that are happening in the moment. What are you doing right now? See? Say, right now. Well, I am planning a video conference. What is our team doing right now? They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. So, present continuous is for actions happening right now, this month. But, is this is, is simple present. 
are regular actions or routine. Usually, usually talks about routine. Okay, usually, always, sometimes, never. Yeah, frequency adverbs talk about routine, frequency of an activity. That is always simple present, simple present, simple present. Right? Let's compare. We use simple present uh, for general information or routine activity. Simple present, general information or routine activity. For example, I check my email every morning. He writes reports about meeting. He audits inventories. They arrange meeting. General information or routine activity. And we use present continuous for ongoing actions at the time of speaking, ongoing actions at the time of speaking. That is action happening right now. I am planning a video conference. They are getting the documents ready. He is editing the information. The secretary is making a phone call. Observe that in simple present, the verb sometimes is in the base form, but with he or she, we add S. Okay? He or she, we add S to the verb, right? Audits. And with present continuous, we use the verb be and the ing form. Verb be and the ing are getting, I'm planning, is editing, is making. Verb be plus the ing form. Okay. Any question here? No question. Let me show you. This. Present simple versus present continuous. Okay, in present simple, we have the subject plus the verb. Yeah, Carlos cleaned the house. Press general truth, it rarely rains. Subject and the verb. In present continuous, the subject plus verb be in negative form, we use not, and the verb in the ing form. Okay. Yes. Now, we have an exercise here in the book. Okay. 
exercise A. Complete the sentences in present continuous. In present continuous. Number one, Thomas is printing. Control out. Printing out. The con. Thomas is printing out the con. Now continue with two, three, four, five, and six. That is the first part. The second part, write in the boxes the activities you usually do on a Monday morning. What activities you usually do on a Monday morning? Yeah. No, for example, uh, the email. For example, I don't know. For for client or uh, uh, a meeting. Or uh, in office, whatever, okay? So this is what you are going to do. Exercise A and exercise B. Please, when you finish, raise your hand. Any question? Teacher, lo va a mandar al grupo. Okay, I will.
Okay, I see one, two, three, four, five, six hands up. Seven, okay. Eight. Okay, I will send you to working groups to talk about your activities, okay? To, well, first compare the answers on exercise, uh, from the exercise in the book, then talk about the activities you do on Monday. Oh, oh, no, 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 oh, wait, 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 don't go, don't go. Don't go, please. I need to recreate the groups. Don't go. Sorry. Let's see now. Okay, now. Now join your groups. Please go to small groups, talk about the activities and share your answers.
Okay, let me give you another exercise to practice. Let's send you an exercise there in WhatsApp. Here you Uh, the exercise is this. Okay, here you have information of, about present simple and present complete. Okay, but this is just information. The exercise are this. I have to choose the correct answer, the correct form. Choose the correct answer. Every day he drinking, drinks, he drink, he are drinking. This is the correct. There are uh, 15 exercises. So I'll time to work on that. To practice.
Okay, let's check together quickly this exercise. Number one, every day he, A, B, C, or D, people? B. B. Okay, number two, we're going to check later. Number two, she, a good novel at present. A, B, C, or D? Letter C. D. C. Hmm. C. Okay. Letter C. Number three, he, a sandwich now. Is is D. 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 Or they usually a party on Saturday. Uh, uh, B. B. Five. Fred usually on Sunday morning. Letter A. A. Okay. Six. Margaret tennis at the moment. Letter C. 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 Seven. He has so much money that he a new car every year. D. Letter D. D. A. I to school every weekday. B. 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 No. B. 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 Our bullying. Our bullying. Nine. Where are you going? Mm, to school. There B. 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 And we often a roast chicken on Sundays. Hey. We pizza right now. B. C. 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 Be a coffee at the moment. There be. Be. They always, their presents under the Christmas tree. A. 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 It's often in this country. Letter B. B. C. C. Letter C. C. Letter C. Letter B. E. Well, you know, do we need that? Letter uh, number 15. I. A. A. Letter A. Okay, A. let's check. Uh, I every weekday. This is routine. This is routine. Go, I go. So I, I, we go. go. I go. I go. I go. The rest is good. Okay. Okay, people. That's all for today. If you have any question? We can talk about that too. So let me take the last attendance. So, uh, Alison Andrea Serrano. Present teacher. Good and night. Hi. Carla Jasmine Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Jonathan Garcia. Present teacher. Okay. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. 
present tonight. Hi. I'm with Mauricio Pineda. Present teacher. Eric Mauricio Cruz. Present. Eh, Gilberto Benito Santa María. Present teacher. Good night. Okay. Jennifer Guadalupe Elías. Present teacher. Good night. Okay. José Andrés Martínez. Present teacher. Good night. Okay. Eh, Julio César Fabián. Present teacher. Good night. Okay. Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Juan Alexander Chávez. Present teacher, good night. Raúl Edgardo Tarceño. Rosalina Esmeralda Sánchez. Present teacher, good night. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez. Present teacher. Vladimir Alejandro García. Present. Good night, everybody. William Boris Roque. Present teacher. Good night. William Rodrigo Ángel. Okay, people. That's all for today. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Good night, Bye. everyone. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Okay, Noé. Minutos son por si para aclarar dudas, reforzar el tema. Tú me dirás. Tiene tu micrófono. Eh, ok, Ticha. Este, más que todo con el tema que estamos viendo ahorita, es, eh, estoy un poco confundido, ¿verdad? Porque el presente continuo, el present continuo, continuo. Eh, mm. Estuve viendo videos y como que hay eh, ciertas reglas. Para, para lo que es agregar el ING. Ah, sí. Eh, sí. Esas reglas las, las vamos a ver después o, este, o el tema hasta ahí quedaría. O... Eh, se supone que las vieron en el módulo 1, pero no. no Déjame ver. Sí, me parece que las vimos, Tiche. Este, le voy a dar una repasadita para, para, este, uh -huh. para ver ah. este, algún. Veámoslo aquí rápido. Te ayuda. La regla general es que a la mayoría del verbo solo le vamos a agregar el it, eating, go, going, reading. Uh -huh. Ahora, los Verbos que terminan en, con su 
importante más E. Ajá. ¿Ya? Removemos la E. Y aquí remove the E. Y se le agrega el IN. El ING. Ok. Dance. Dancing. Dancing. Ride. Riding. Riding. Right. 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 A los verbos que terminan en E. Ante más. Mm -hmm. Sí. Los verbos que terminan en ante vocal consonante. Ajá. Okay. Actualmente lo que vamos a hacer es duplicar la, la última consonante. La consonante y agregar el ING. Agregar el ING. Uh -huh. Cut, it. Run, running. Run. Stop. Chop. Chopping. Uh -huh. Ahora. Ahora los verbos vemos acá. Aquí tenemos verbos de más de una sílaba que también terminan en consonante vocal. Ah. Pero son más de una sílaba. Ajá. Y la fuerza de voz va en la última sílaba. Pero, uh -huh no cambia nada solo agregamos el bien ahí solo sería solo eh, donde vamos a, a duplicar la consonante sería solo solo de una sílaba verdad de una sílaba normalmente de una sílaba y y ya lo, los otros que que terminen en, en vocal consonante solo le vamos a agregar este, el ING, cuando sea más, este, más de una sílaba. Más de una sílaba y la fuerza de voz vaya, no vaya en no. la Ok. Esto es por complejo, pero. Cuando los verbos terminan en WX o Y, no se, no se duplica la última. Uh -huh. Y solo le agrega el, el ING. Cuando el tiempo termina en IE, uh -huh. cambia el IE por, por, por Y. Y, I. Okay. I die, I die. Verbo termina en consonante, vocal y L. Uh -huh. En británico se duplica la L final. Uh -huh. Americano, no. Uh -huh. Lleve la fuerza de voz. Uh -huh. Y cuando la última sílaba es la que lleva la fuerza de voz, se duplica la consonante. Ah, ok. Agregué. Sí, este, esa era mi única duda. Y igual este, con la pronunciación, pero este, trato de, de estudiar. Cuando me queda tiempo, trato de, de, de aprovechar en en pronunciación para, para ir mejorando. Hay que escuchar, escuchar, escuchar. Ajá. Igual este, también me gusta bastante escuchar como música para que se me vaya quedando tal vez algunas palabras. Sí, sí. Bueno, escuchar. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. Sobre todo música tranquila que sí se puede entender. Sí, sí, hay música que es, es despacio y, y sí, es bastante clara la letra. Voy a poner este cuadro ahí en el WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Para, para darle una repasadita ahí. Ok, Noé, eso sería todo ya. Ok, teacher, gracias. Bueno. Good night. Good night. Bye.